What's going on guys, Nognator here, back with another video, and uh, in last video we did uh, part of the festival playlist, we got 28%, and most importantly, we unlocked the new car for this uh, uh, this week in the festival playlist, the mini convertible, uh, we're going to be building that up right now uh, in this video, and next video we're going to be doing the new story, which you guys are going to want to see, and as fact as well, I, I see a... Uh, See a car I don't really want to drive right there, but um, it's okay. Uh, there are two new cars in this uh, week. Uh, the Morgan Tra or Morris Travelers, the other one. Make a video on that one too. Uh, but right now we got this new mini convertible. So 2018, it's a new car. It is a mini. Minis are always nice to make. Uh, they always are a fun little car to build. And this one is the convertible. So uh, John Cooper works convertible. Haven't I don't think I've ever driven a convertible Mini Cooper before, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, I guess it's going to be found in our collection here. Uh, let's come on, let's load here. That Shelby Cobra is what we used last video. It was a pretty a good uh, Mini, Mini, Mini. Where would Mini be? It's going to be in the M's, of course. Um, we're getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. Maserati, Mazda, Mercedes, and uh, we're here. We are. So here it is. Uh, yeah, this is the only... I have these John Cooper Works cars, 2009s, uh, 2012. But this one is a convertible, so it's legendary front-wheel drive. Uh, let's... Oh, okay. Coming in... Stop. <laughs> Coming in at stock... Uh, I'm so terrible at this. Toggle stats. Thank you. Coming in stock, we have 228 horsepower, 236 foot-pound of torque, and just over 3,000 pounds. So let's go ahead and build this thing up from the... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. We're just going to look at the different options we can do with the car. I don't want to change the main parts about the car, like uh, like the drivetrain and uh, st uh, engine. But here's what we're looking at right now. A little mini engine, right? Makes sense. I like the overall design of the car. It looks really good. The red trim seats looks good in the inside. Uh, yeah, okay, and a very small trunk, but it's okay. Uh, we're not worried about the trunk here in Forza. So let's see what kind of things we can do to this car. Obviously, like I said, I'm not changing it, but I just want to see what we can put. Uh, so we can put a 1.6 liter turbo rally in there, but we're just going to keep the stock powertrain, obviously. Uh, and I assume we could put it, yes, yeah, so we can put it all different types, but front wheel drive is what we're keeping it at now. Uh, Arrow and a uh, let's see here. This little bumper, it's uh, pretty cool. Let's go for it. Is there a big wang we can put on? No, there's not. There's no big wang at all. Uh, let's just keep that there. I'd like to color this car, though. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put race tire compounds on there. We can put 235s on the car. That's pretty cool. Uh, 235s on each side. That's right. It's front wheel drive. The rims, I feel like, are nice the way they are. I don't really want to put anything else on them. It just wouldn't look right. Yeah, so let's just keep the stock rims. I feel like those are nice, and we can go ahead and uh, make them extra uh, extra wide there. Uh, drive train, we can do all the normal stuff here. The clutch, transmission, drive line, and differential. So I'm actually interested to see if it's going to be a turbo or a supercharge or if we have to not use any of that. Uh, brakes, going to go ahead and put all that up. We can lower this thing or raise it let's just go raise springs looks better when it's lowered and anti-roll bars just because we got plenty of money anyway the roll cage uh, let's not do that let no let's just not do that uh, and weight reduction we can go ahead and lose 530 or 523 pounds that's what we like to see okay so here we are uh, so it is a turboed car so uh, let's start off with the most important things first, the camshaft, 50 horsepower from that, the displacement, we can get 33 horsepower, the inner core, 11, not too bad, the turbo is going to bring us 68 horsepower, that's what we like to see, um, we'll go ahead and do the race oil, as well as the flywheel, valves, I don't want to do too much to this car, I want it to still uh, be drivable. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put the exhaust in there as well. Let's just fully upgrade it, actually. We'll be close to, like, 845. Okay, we'll be 845 on the dot. So we got... 
A lot of things. 26. I don't know if you can hear the helicopter flying by. Uh, but our power is now almost 500 uh, at 498. And we are just 2,490 pounds. So this thing is going to be pretty quick. It is front wheel drive. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and figure that out. But uh, yeah, I'm not so sure. I want to see also what kind of uh, paint we can put on this car. Uh, I, I do like the stock paint. I think it looks very nice. But there may be other stock paints we can put on here. Okay, there are. So that orange looks really good so far. <laughs> uh, so we got this, the uh, green and red. The uh, plain red is also really nice. Oh, yes, that orange and black, though, is pretty good. Oh, so is this. The blue is nice. The black could be better. Gray could be better. Ooh. Got like metallic. I, I'm kind of in between this one and the orange one, but I'm going to go for the orange one. That's the one that caught my eye at first. And I want to make the rims black. Okay. So we've got that now. Our orange and black convertible John Cooper Works Mini Cooper uh, 2018 edition. I just kind of want to drive it around see how it goes. This video is mainly for... Uh, the types of upgrades that we can do to this car, as I'll be doing with all the new cars we get in this update, uh, including the Apollo, including all of them, the Minis and the Morris and the Buick, but yeah, all those. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to do a sound check as well as a uh, poll, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, head to the highway for all that. Try not to spoil anything. I'm just going to turn around. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. How about that? I tell you, I like this car right now. That's all I'll tell you. Let's go ahead and take a photo of it because this thing is its pretty cool. I don't know what the best angle of this car would be. I mean, I guess it would probably be something like this. Maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit of that. Yeah, that's our new Mini Cooper John. Mini John Cooper works. Uh, there we go. It's actually a pretty good photo. We got the 60 uh, as your uh, speed limit behind. It's pretty cool there as well. Um, so let's go ahead and save that. Uh, I guess I kind of, I don't really know what I want to do with this car. Um, I guess we could try it out on the drag strip, but then again, like, I, it would be better if it was all-wheel drive. It would be better if, I don't know, if I, if I put it in the turbo rally, it probably would be better. But I want this car to, to be, uh, you know, what it's worth, you know? I just want it to be what it's worth. So... Let's go, um, let's do, uh, oh my, let's do this one over here, uh, Greendale, that is a good drag strip usually. Alright, here we go, oh no, this is going pretty slow, it's okay, front wheel drive, we can let the Abarth beat us, come on, there we go, yep, okay, so speed is definitely third gear. That is a 12 second quarter mile. That's pretty slow. Uh, but actually a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick other one. All right, so yeah, that's gonna be the end of this. Let's go ahead and do like one little jump here. This is just a quick video uh, showcasing the new upgrades and you know, the drag time of a new car in the game. I do like this car. It's pretty cool uh, aesthetically. Can I do a flip though? That is my question. Let's try a barrel roll. That's just my luck. Yep, we're just going to end it on that.